how do you think we can reasonably expect to break the echo chamber mentality in social media and online information? Do you think it's possible or do you expect our conversation to grow increasingly factionalized? This is a good question to which I really don't have a good answer apart from my acknowledging that this is a, just a huge problem. This has to be high on everyone's list of problems that really could make it hard to maintain our way of life. I mean, what we're talking about, how human beings reach a common understanding of reality, right? How do we get our view of the facts to converge? And how do we get our the moral norms that should guide our behavior to become aligned collectively? And if we're not dealing with the same facts, if my news sources are fake news, according to your own, and vice versa, it is hard to see how we will make any progress. This isn't just about agreeing that climate change is a problem. This is everything. This is the wars we fight, the laws we pass, the research we fund or don't fund. It is everything. There is a difference between truth and lies. There is a difference between real news and fake news. There's a difference between actual conspiracies and imagined ones. And we cannot afford to have hundreds of millions of people in our own society on the wrong side of those epistemological chasms. And we certainly can't afford to have members of our own government on the wrong side of them. As I've said many, many times before, all we have is conversation, right? You have conversation and violence. That's how we can influence one another. When things really matter and words are insufficient, people show up with guns. That is the way things are. So we have to create the conditions where conversations work. And now we are living in an environment where words have become almost totally ineffectual. And that this is what has been so harmful, I would say, about Trump's candidacy and his first few weeks as president. I mean, just the degree to which the man lies and the degree to which his supporters do not care, that is one of the most dangerous things to happen in my lifetime politically. There simply has to be a consequence for lying on this level. And the retort from a Trump fan is, well, all politicians lie. No, all politicians don't lie like this. What we are witnessing with Trump and the people around him is something quite new. Even if I grant that all politicians lie a lot, I don't even know if I should grant that. All politicians lie sometimes, say. But even in their lying, they have to endorse the norm of truth-telling. That's what it means to lie successfully in politics, in a former age of the earth. You can't be obviously lying. You can't obviously be repudiating the very norm of honest communication. But what Trump has done and the people around him have gotten caught in the same vortex, it's almost like a giddy nihilism in politics, right? Where it's just, you just say whatever you want. And it doesn't matter if it's true. Just try to stop me, is the attitude. It's unbelievable. So finally on this point, I would just say that finding ways to span this chasm between people, finding ways where we can reliably influence one another through conversation based on shared norms of argumentation and self-criticism, that is the operating system we need. That is the only thing that stands between us and chaos. And there are the people who are trying to build that, and there are the people who are trying to tear it down. And now one of those people is president. And again, I, I really don't think this is too strong. Trump is, by all appearances, consciously destroying the fabric of civil conversation. And his supporters really don't seem to care. And I'm sure that those of you who support him 
will think I'm just whinging now in a spirit of partisanship, right? That's why I'm against Trump. I'm a Democrat or I'm a liberal. That's just not the case. Most normal Republican candidates, who I might dislike for a variety of reasons, Marco Rubio or Jeb Bush, or even a quasi-theocrat like Ted Cruz, would still function within the normal channels of attempting a fact-based conversation about the world. Their lies would be normal lies. And when caught, there'd be a penalty to pay. They would lose face. Trump has no face to lose. Every time Trump speaks, he's saying, I don't have to make sense. I'm too powerful to even have to make sense. That is his message. And half the country, or nearly half, seems to love it. So when he's caught in a lie, he has no face to lose. Trump is chaos. 